in early March 1918, the USS Cyclops, a massive US Navy collier carrying 10,800 long tons of manganese ore, vanished without a trace. The ship had set sail from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, bound for Baltimore, Maryland, after an unscheduled stop in Barbados. Commanded by the controversial and reportedly brutal Lieutenant Commander George W. Worley, Cyclops was already grappling with a cracked engine cylinder and a worrying overload. On the 4th of March, Cyclops departed Barbados, plunging into the Atlantic Ocean, never to be seen again. Amidst rumours and sparse sightings, the vessel's final movements were shrouded in mystery. On the 9th of March, it was allegedly seen by the tanker Amolco near Virginia, a claim later denied by the tanker's captain. A violent storm was recorded in the Virginia Capes area around the 10th of March, adding to the growing tension and fear for Cyclops' fate. As days turned into weeks, panic set in. The US Navy launched an exhaustive search, but not a single piece of wreckage was found. On the 1st of June 1918, Assistant Secretary of the Navy, Franklin D. Roosevelt, declared Cyclops lost, with all 306 crew members and passengers. Theory swelled. Enemy action, catastrophic structural failure, even the Bermuda Triangle. Each hypothesis added to the enigma, none offering definitive closure. Cyclops' disappearance remains one of the most haunting mysteries in naval history. A tale of uncertainty and fear that underscores the perilous nature of the sea and the secret it holds. History Launched on the 7th of May 1910 by William Cramp and Sons of Philadelphia and commissioned on the 7th of November 1910, the USS Cyclops began her service with the Naval Auxiliary Service Atlantic Fleet. From May to July 1911, she voyaged through the Baltic Sea, supplying 2nd Division ships before returning to Norfolk, Virginia. Cyclops then operated along the US East Coast, from Newport, Rhode Island to the Caribbean, supporting the fleet. During the United States occupation of Veracruz, Mexico in 1914 and 1915, Cyclops played a crucial role in coaling ships on patrol. Her efforts earned the gratitude of the US Department of State for aiding in the evacuation of refugees. With America's entry into World War I, Cyclops was recommissioned on the 1st of May 1917. In June 1917, she joined a convoy to Saint-Nazaire, France returning to the US in July. Except for a voyage to Halifax, Nova Scotia, Cyclops primarily served along the East Coast until the 9th of January 1918, where she was assigned to the Naval Overseas Transportation Service. Cyclops then set sail for Brazilian waters to fuel British ships in the South Atlantic, receiving commendations from the US State Department and the Commander-in-Chief Pacific. This mission marked her final assignment before her mysterious disappearance in March 1918, leaving behind an enduring maritime mystery. Disappearance The USS Cyclops set sail from Rio de Janeiro on the 16th of February 1918 and entered Salvador on the 20th of February. Two days later, she departed for Baltimore, Maryland carrying a heavy load of manganese ore. Concerns arose as the ship was believed to be overloaded, surpassing its maximum capacity of 8,000 long tons. Before leaving Brazil, Commander Worley reported a cracked cylinder in the starboard engine, which was confirmed by a survey board that recommended the ship's return to the United States. En route, Cyclops made an unscheduled stop in Barbados due to the water level being over the Plimsoll line, indicating overload. Despite this, investigations in Rio confirmed the ship was properly loaded and secured. Cyclops resumed her journey on the 4th of May. Tension grew when rumours surfaced that Cyclops had been sighted by the molasses tanker Amolco near Virginia on the 9th of March. However, this was denied by Amolco's captain. Considering Cyclops was not in Baltimore until the 13th of March, the Virginia sighting seemed improbable, as it would place the ship only a day's journey from Baltimore. The suspense peaked as Cyclops failed to arrive in Baltimore. Despite extensive searches, no wreckage or trace of the ship was ever found. 
the mysterious disappearance of the USS Cyclops, along with her 306 crew members, remains one of the greatest maritime enigmas, leaving a haunting question mark over her final fate. Aftermath News of the Cyclops being overdue and presumed lost dominated the front pages of American newspapers on the 15th of April 1918, following a Navy announcement. On the 1st of June, Assistant Secretary of the Navy, Franklin D. Roosevelt, officially declared the Cyclops lost, with all hands presumed dead. This tragic loss was also recorded in the annual report of the Secretary of the Navy for 1918. Among the seamen lost on board the Cyclops was African-American mess attendant Lewis H. Hardwick. He was the father of Herbert Lewis Hardwick, known as the Coco Kid, an Afro-Puerto Rican welterweight boxer who became a top contender in the 30s and 40s, winning the World Coloured Welterweight and World Coloured Middleweight Championships. Theories During World War I, the disappearance of the USS Cyclops raised immediate suspicions of hostile action, given the activity of Imperial German Navy submarines in the West Indies. However, the German Navy denied any involvement, or even sighting the Cyclops, both during and after the war. On the 10th of March, the day after the Cyclops was rumoured to have been seen by the tanker Molko, a violent storm hit the Virginia Capes area. This led to speculation that a combination of the ship's overloaded condition, engine trouble, and the bad weather might have caused its sinking. Despite extensive naval investigations, no theory sufficiently explained the disappearance. This uncertainty deepened when, during World War II, Cyclops' sister ships, Proteus and Eurus, also vanished at sea. Both were carrying heavy loads of metallic ore, similar to that of Cyclops. The losses of these ships were attributed to catastrophic structural failures, though more sensational theories pointed to the Bermuda Triangle. Rear Admiral George Van Ders suggested that the Cyclops might have suffered structural failure. He noted that the I-beams running the length of the ship, observed on her sister ship USS Jason, had corroded due to the nature of the cargo. This likely contributed to the loss of the freighter, Chucky, which broke in half in calm seas. The Cyclops may have faced 30 to 40 knot winds, creating waves that could have left the bow and stern supported while the middle was unsupported, straining the weakened central structure. In a 2009 BBC Radio 4 documentary, Tom Mangold had an expert from Lloyd's investigate the loss. The expert highlighted that manganese ore, denser than coal, had room to move within the holds, even when fully laden, and the canvas hatch covers allowed water in, turning the ore into slurry. This could shift the load and cause the ship to list, potentially leading to a fatal combination with the Cyclops engine issues in bad weather. The Captain and Sister Ships Investigations by the Office of Naval Intelligence uncovered that Captain Worley was born Johann Frederick Wichmann in Sandstedt, Hanover, Germany in 1862. He arrived in North America by jumping ship in San Francisco in 1878. By 1898, he was the owner of a saloon in San Francisco's Barbary Coast and had changed his name to Worley after a seaman friend. He convinced his brothers to emigrate and during this time he qualified as a ship's master, commanding several civilian merchant ships. His crews reported that Worley had a brutal personality, similar to that of HMS Pandora's captain Edward Edwards, often mistreating the crew for minor infractions. Worley was commissioned as a lieutenant commander in the Naval Auxiliary Reserve on the 21st of February 1917. Naval investigators learned from former crew members about Worley's erratic behaviour. He would berate and curse officers and men for minor offences, sometimes violently, once even chasing an ensign with a pistol. He was also known for making rounds dressed in long underwear and a derby hat. Worley sometimes put inexperienced officers in charge of loading cargo, while confining experienced men to quarters. In Rio de Janeiro, an inexperienced officer supervised the loading of the manganese ore, which may have contributed to the ship's overloading and eventual sinking. The most serious accusation against Worley was his alleged pro-German sentiments during wartime. 
his closest friends and associates were either German or Americans of German descent. One of the passengers on Cyclops' final voyage was Alfred Louis Moreau Gottschalk, the Consul General in Rio de Janeiro, who was also known for his pro-German sympathies. It was speculated that Gottschalk and Morley might have colluded to hand the ship over to the Germans. After World War I, German records were checked to determine the Cyclops' fate, whether by Warley's hand or by submarine attack, but nothing was found. USS Cyclops had three sister ships, all ill-fated. USS Jupiter was converted to an aircraft carrier and recommissioned as USS Langley, the first American aircraft carrier, vital in developing US naval aviation. She was later converted into a seaplane tender and redesignated as AV-3. In December 1941, stationed in the Philippines, she departed for Australia following Japanese attacks. On 27th of February 1942, while ferrying fighter planes to Southeast Asia, Japanese aircraft attacked and critically damaged her. After rescuing the surviving crew, Langley was scuttled by torpedoes from her escorting destroyers. USS Proteus was sold on the 8th of March 1941 and became a part of the Canadian Merchant Navy. She was lost at sea without a trace, likely near the Caribbean Sea, sometime after the 25th of November 1941, carrying a load of bauxite ore. USS Nereus was sold to the Aluminium Company of Canada on the 27th of February 1941. She was lost without a trace after departing St. Thomas, US Virgin Islands, sometime after the 10th of December 1941, also carrying a load of bauxite ore. Conclusion In conclusion, while the disappearance of the USS Cyclops remains one of the most enduring mysteries of maritime history, the most plausible course of its vanishing appears to be a catastrophic structural failure. This conclusion is supported by several key factors. The lack of distress signals or any communication from the ship after it departed Barbados, the absence of wreckage or debris despite extensive search efforts, and the conditions under which the ship was operating carrying a heavy load of manganese ore in potentially rough seas. The USS Cyclops, a massive vessel prone to stress due to its size and purpose as a collier, likely encountered conditions that exacerbated existing structural weaknesses. The combination of its heavy cargo and possibly adverse weather conditions could have led to a sudden and catastrophic failure of its hull or other critical components. This scenario would explain the swift disappearance of the ship without leaving any trace behind. While alternative theories such as espionage or enemy attack were considered, they lack substantial evidence and fail to account for the absence of distress signals or wreckage. The prevailing theory of structural failure aligns with known facts and remains the most credible explanation based on the information available. Ultimately, the fate of the USS Cyclops stands as a poignant reminder of the perils faced by seafarers even in times of relative peace, and continues to intrigue researchers and historians alike with its unresolved mystery. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like. And for more amazing tales and thrilling stories, don't forget to subscribe to Uncovered Secrets. Also, hit the bell icon to stay notified for every release.